snapshot of where we're coming from a timeline perspective. In 2010, Huawei launched the ARG3, and that was a milestone product for us. It introduced the concept of multiple core architectures, as well as multiple interfaces. We fast forward a bit to 2014, and we launched the industry's first ICT converged router. What we mean by that is it had the ability to run things like virtual machines and hence third-party applications. In 2017, we won an SD-WAN design award for the AR650. And then here we are today with our next generation of AR series routers. If we look at the global landscape, we can see that Huawei actually ranks number one in terms of the growth rate among top SD-WAN vendors. And we're number two in global enterprise router market share. At the bottom of this slide, you can actually see some of the major companies that we work with with this technology. They include Vodafone, 7-Eleven, Schindler, and et cetera. So today we're talking about four specific product series. The AR650, which is more of an appliance-based device. Then we have the AR6100 up through 6300. And these are more rack-mountable units, depending upon the size and the requirements of your site. All four of these include best performance in class, and we achieve that by using our in-house technology based around ARM CPUs and network processing. Again, as I mentioned, that allows us to decouple the data plane from the control plane, and we're able to achieve a three times uh, performance boost in forwarding. All of these products also allow ultra-low latency performance. We use something called the PhilP algorithm that allows us to do large file transfers without the use of TCP, and by doing so, we can get a 100 time performance boost. Anti-packet loss, by using things like adaptive FEC, we can do things in the video and audio space that get around some of the issues relating to frame freezing. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then, of course, these are all in one designs. We have simplified management, and they're very easy to use, but they still have that flexibility of having interface cards to meet your needs.